Hey, what's up, guys? So, I got to play around with a dealer kit today for my 7700K, which has been having some issues with like running really hot while uh, streaming. So, I wanted to try to take care of that issue. And one of the common ways to get some thermal headroom is through a dealer kit. So, right here, I have a dealer kit from Rocket that I used to crack open my 7700K. Now, obviously, this is the rig that I do my recording on, so unfortunately I had to record it with the cell phone. So the footage is kind of rough, but I just wanted to share with you my experience on using this thing. And it got a little rough at the end where the engine was high and it actually makes some very loud snap noise, which would probably drive you a little crazy when you see that for the first time. And I had to use two hands, so unfortunately I couldn't record that. You might still hear it, though. I'll look back at the footage for that. But yeah, this is the Rocket Delay Kit. You put your processor down here, and it uses this set screw to actually pop it off. It's pretty cool, and it does work pretty easily, aside from the loud pop noise. But I'll play the footage for you uh, here that I got off my cell phone and let you enjoy watching <laughs> the excitement of me doing my first ever D-Lid. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so I have here, I think it's by uh, Rocket, a Dela kit for LGA1151. I'm recording this on my phone because the processor I want to Dela is actually the one I do my recording on. And that computer right there. So never deleted a processor before, I'm going to set this up and let's see if we can delete it. Alright, so looked up how to set this up. Should see... Yep, right there. Okay, so you put this in here. Then this like such pick that out. <laughs> All right. Oh, I might need two hands for this. I don't know. Ugh, can't hold it. So supposedly, look here, the 7700K letter uh, numbering. You'll see it move. And again, it's apparently loud too. Should just give. Oh boy, it's starting to get hard to do with one hand. Ah, bitch. Yeah, I do a little of my processor one handed. That good. Still feel a lot of tension. Hasn't gave yet. Probably right after this next turn. Oh god. Still hasn't give. It's moved a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and check it. That's a pretty significant amount. See, the risk is you can 
knock out capacitors. Mm -mm. She's still on. Uh, she's still on there. Take two. Listen. Yeah. Definitely makes a pop. <laughs> you can see, uh, it has slid over a lot. Let's take a look. <laughs> I jumped, dude. <laughs> I thought I shattered the, uh, the dealer tool. Holy shit, that was fun. <laughs> God, dude. That was, uh, that was something. I had to two hand that thing. Sounded just like it did in the video, though. The fun part is scraping off all the adhesive. Holy shit, their application was trash, man. No wonder it's getting so fucking hot. I don't want to touch that one. Oh my god, it doesn't sound like powder. It's totally dried. So yeah, um, obviously I have to clean all that off, have to get all that adhesive off because I won't be putting that back on. Yeah, that is the dye. Oh my god, it's actually like really light without that heat sink. It's just everything's perfectly intact. That's it though. I got work to do. Okay, so there is the die cleaned off. Um, a little bit of residue still on there, but I scraped all this back because the goal of this is to try to make the IHS sit flat, which I also cleaned the adhesive off of that. So I got some Arctic Silver MX4 that I'm going to use, and one thing I'm kind of concerned about is with me not resealing this, am I going to be able to put it back on my computer while it's standing up? Which, by the way, my computer is haunted. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep. On. And. It is unplugged. Yeah, that happened. So yeah, um, I was trying to beat 94 degrees Celsius max under uh, Prime 95 non-AVX workloads, uh, version 26.6, .6, and it wound up only be going down to like 89 or 90 max temps when uh, testing it. So. As of right now, the dealer didn't really do as much as I was wanting. I've heard of like 10 degrees, 15 degrees, hell, maybe even 20 reduction in temps by doing a D-lid. Now, I didn't seal the CPU back. With, apparently, uh, using that silicone layer around the corners actually causes the uh, IHS to lift more up off of the, uh, the CPU die. So it's still not sealed, which I did wound up taking the computer, laying it on its back, and positioning it, and then using the uh, 
the CPU retainer to hold it down, and then of course the cooler on top of that will hold it down even more. But right now, I'm starting to wonder if the pump might be more of an issue. But it did drop. I'll notice more when I stream because I get a little notification popping up saying, "Hey, your CPU is too hot." So we'll see what it's like under that workload because obviously Prime 95 is going to wreck any CPU you make uh, that program run, run on. But so far, it did, did uh, reduce temperatures, just not as much as I was wanting. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.